Hello everybody, my name is George Buman and I'm here today to share with you my point of view in Yellowstone, aka kids point of view. I've put together some fun stuff to do, some tips and tricks, cool facts, and just other general stuff about the park. Those come from my full online class, Yellowstone for Kids by Kid. Let's dive deep and get ready to learn. This class is supposed to give you a peek into the amazing location that is Yellowstone from a kid's point of view. I've grown up here, and I'm here to pass on my knowledge of the park to you so you can have the best experience you possibly can. The most popular thing, if you listen to an adult, is seeing Old Faithful Geyser erupt. But there's so much more. A close second is wildlife. People want to see bears and wolves and other things. And the third is, yes, shopping. But let's take our minds off that. We have so much amazing mountain scenery. Yellowstone almost has 300 waterfalls, including- Yes, Yellowstone sits on top of a volcano, but don't worry, geologists don't think it's gonna go boom anytime soon. There is a plume of magma that comes to the surface in the form of a volcano, and when a volcano erupts, it sends pulverized rock into the air known as volcanic ash. You might be thinking of the ash that happens when you burn wood. No, this is ash like if you took a bunch of light bulbs, smashed them up into a really fine dust-like powder, and then blew it around your room. But in order to get all of these different thermal features, the volcano is important because it provides the heat for the water. We have geysers and hot springs. This is a different kind of hot spring known as the Travertine Terrace. We have fumaroles. And my personal favorite, bleep, 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 mud pots. The Greater Yellowstone Ecosystem is the only place in the lower 48 states that has all of the original species that were here before the Europeans arrived. We have 13 kinds of bats. And fun fact, one bat can eat 4,000 mosquitoes in one night. That is like you, staying up till midnight, trying to eat 4,000 french fries. It's sad, but it's true. We don't have any turtles here in Yellowstone. We have bigger things like wolves and grizzly bears and black bears and bison, foxes, and coyotes. There are mountain lions and bobcats. We also have elk, bighorn sheep, mule deer, pronghorn, and mountain goats. And sometimes you could see a moose. And wait for it. We have 130 five species of butterflies and you thought the butterfly number was big because well, yellowstone is so big and the speed limit is low you're not gonna get anywhere fast here are my survival tips for driving in yellowstone first on the list is not to let the kid drive and just when you think nothing is happening a mother grizzly bear and a cub could walk right out across the road in front of you you could even see a moose or a fox you never know what you will see out there like a black bear, helping out with the road cones. Or one black bear cub biting the other one on the butt. <laughs> Schedule allows. And the next geyser we like to visit is Grand Geyser. Grand Geyser is really cool because you are a lot closer to it than you are to Old Faithful. And it's a fountain geyser. And after walking the loop, there's no better way to finish up than to have a bite of ice cream. Another one of my favorites is to go for a hike. This is one of my favorite places. Sometimes you will see trees with scratch marks, like this one from a black bear or a grizzly bear. They will sometimes even put bite marks into the bark and rub their back on the tree to leave their scent like this one. Crazy, huh? Another one of my favorite things to do in the park is wildlife watch. I mean, there's bison here. There can be wolves, bears, bison, elk. You can see the animals any time, but morning and evening are better because more animals are out at those times and usually it's less busy. And now this leads us to George's key to the butts of Yellowstone. Hi, it's me again, and hopefully you're getting excited for your trip to Yellowstone. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to check out the full online class where you'll not only get three more video modules on how to be safe, fun stuff to do and see, and areas in the park that are cool. You will also get like free downloads and stuff that you can take with you on your trip to make your trip really fun. So be sure to check out that full online class and have a nice week. Bye.